everybody, it's Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this elf ear that you wear. <laughs> and this is one that I already made. I'm going to make the other one for it. So I'm using some 20 gauge wire that is silver in color and then I also have some 26 gauge wire for these little wraps here that you see and a little pearl decoration. So you can you don't have to do this exactly like me. Um, you can put, you know, different things and make these little curlies different, however you want. The point is, you know, to get this shape of the ear and then you can kind of decorate it however you want. So it's going to be easy um, for me now since I have one to copy. Um, and that's why I thought I would show it to you because when you're making the very first one, then you kind of have to put it on your ear um, to try and get the fit for it which is going to be hard to do on camera, but um, basically what I did is I just, I held this wire right up against my ear, the back of my ear, um, and I bent it right around the shape. This is the back of my ear um, shape, I guess. And then I left a little piece sticking out to curl it. Um, and then, you know, here I just bent it. So this piece is behind your ear. Your earlobe kind of goes... See how this isn't flat? Your earlobe tucks into here, and maybe I'll um, show you guys what this looks like on at the end as well. So this, you know, sits pretty um, nicely. Like this does not move around or feel like it's gonna fall off in any way. And then I just kind of left myself a whole bunch of wire here at the end so that I can create this shape of the ear. And, you know, since this is the very back of your ear, your actual ear will kind of come up here. So what you want to do is just try to figure out, you know, how much do you want this to stick out? Do you want this to be, you know, a tall, long ear? Do you want it to kind of be angled this way and have a point that way, point straight up? So it's all up to you. It's just kind of like a visual thing. Bend it however you want, have it come down just down your ear, not all the way down to your earlobe, but just kind of, you know, here is where I ended it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this to, um, you know, make another ear. So you'll see how I did everything, but in terms of getting the shape of this, you're gonna have to just hold the wire up against your ear to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little loop which I kind of already started to do and then I decided to record this video. So I already have it happening here, but I'll just a little loop um, at the end of my 20 gauge wire. It's all tangled up. And I'm going to curve it a little bit and then hold it up against the other one. So when you're making your second ear, this is how you would figure out what to do. See how I'm holding it right up against it? Like that. And then bend your wire right up against the other wire because you want this to have the same shape. You can just put it on your other ear. You can do it that way too. It's up to you. But I figured this will be easy to do on camera. Just trying to get the shape just right. And here is where I want it to bend upwards. So I'm going to bend this upwards. This is where it's helpful to have some pliers. So I'm pinching this with my fingers, but I'm going to pinch this with some pliers in a second to get that nice bend. So here I am following the curve of this one here. Alright, and bending it. And alright, almost there. Um, I'm just going to cut this wire here, so then I can, I'll have a little extra, but I'll trim it off. This is all intertwined now. Okay. 
Alright, so here's my base of my ear. Um, first I'm going to fix this right here. I got some new pliers. They're not necessarily great for this particular task, but they're good for other tasks. Getting in small places, these are the Zuron ones. I just got them on Amazon. If you're wondering, I'm just trying to adjust this so it looks nice. Like this. Alright, so let's compare shapes here. I think this point needs to be a little more pointy. And for this loop, and so it's going to come around this way. And when you're making your first one, this is a lot easier because <laughs> you don't have to try and match it exactly. All right, so this is going to be my little loop. I'm going to cut this little end off here like that. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers. I'm going to curl this little end. And I just posted a video on making little curls. So if you're having trouble getting nice little loops and curls and things, then check out that video. I'm going to compare it to my other one. Looks good. So now... I am going to get some wire to tie this on and I am using some 26 gauge wire because it's a little thicker. It's harder if you're, you know, making like a nice pendant or something. But for the purposes of this, there's really not a lot of weaving happening. So it's, it's good to have a thicker, stronger wire to hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie this on. And I didn't do this on my other ear, so I'm not going to do it here, but you could start and make a few single loops right here just on this bottom wire and then go around both. I think ideally that is what I would have done, but that other ear was kind of an experiment, so I'm going to do three of these little loops. Let's see how many I did on the other ear. Four. Okay, so I'm going to do four of these little loops. Like that. Now it's all attached. And now, and see what I'm doing here in case you're wondering while I'm moving all around. There's a little space here, and so I'm bringing this wire, you know, this way so I can keep wrapping. So after you do that, then you do some single loops on just this wire here and that is going to make everything nice and secure okay leave this is I cut my wire this is about how long I have so let's look at our other ear oh, I just realized that mine was kind of bending the wrong way so I'm just going to bend this little tip a little bit Okay, because this ear should go this way. So it's the mirror image of the other ear. Okay, so then this loop should be sticking out this way because you want your earlobe to go in here. All right, so if you are making both ears at the same time, then what you want to do for these little loops, you want to cut yourself equal pieces of wire because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a hard time replicating these exactly but I'm going to try it anyways so first I'm just going to work my way up and go this way so first I'm going to get uh, a little piece of wire and try to make this little curl here alright so here's my little piece of wire and the way that that curl is going is sorry it's hard to see but it has a loop in one direction on one end and then in the other direction on the other end. So here's one end, flip it over. 
Now I'm going in the opposite direction. And um, I'm leaving some space, like when I'm curling this, I'm not pushing it super tight. So there's some space, um, you know, in between, just that's how the other one is. So this is gonna be the hard part, is trying to figure out, this is a lot bigger. So right now mine is a lot bigger, but it looks like the other ones are curved quite a bit more. So if I just, keep curling my little ends here, then this should get to be somewhat similar. I'm going to try and tighten this little loop because on the other one it looks a little bit smaller. So I'm just taking my pliers and I'm just pushing. See how that became smaller? And then you can go this way and flatten it in case it starts you know, to stick out. So making that a little bit smaller and I'm just gonna keep curving it. And same here with this end, keep curving it. So if you just cut two pieces of the exact same length wire, then you know you won't have to do this as much. Now I'm gonna hold it up against this piece again. That's looking pretty good. That looks similar enough for me. So, got to remember that it goes this way. So now I'm going to take my ear, I'm going to hold this curl like this. And if you see there's a little bit of a gap here before I can attach it. So what I'm going to do is just going to weave this wire or just wrap it, you know, just a few more times around this thicker wire and tighten it up. So now I'm going to just tighten all of that up a little bit. I'll cut this little end off. I just haven't had a chance to do that. But you would. You would just cut this off and pinch it down so it doesn't poke you. All right, so here is this little loop that I'm going to be attaching. So the way I want my wire to go is through. Can you see that? Like that? So it is going around both. So what you can do is you can just stick the end of the wire through here, like that. And you want to tighten that up. And you can use your pliers as well to make sure that it's flat because it can kind of move out of place. And the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna attach these little curls to each other as well. This way, this loop won't slide around as much side to side. So I'm putting my wire through, and you wanna make sure, see my wire's getting twisted here, you wanna untwist it, because if you get these little kinks, some of them are like impossible to get out. You can use nylon pliers sometimes to get them out, but really it's not a string, so don't just pull on it as hard as you can. Really straighten it out and guide it or you're gonna get bends in your wire. So I want it to go this way. I'm gonna bring it here. There's one little loop going this way. This is just basically securing everything. You don't have to secure it the exact same way that I'm doing it, but this is just kind of what works for me. And this is going to be two. And two is enough. I'm not going to do more than that. So That should be tight enough. Now you can cut this wire um, and pinch it down and start a new wire. Or I'm going to bring it to the back here like this. I'm going to take my little pliers here. See how there's a gap? These little stitches, so to speak, <laughs> don't look that nice. So I'm going to get them closer together, 
squish this down, get it all nice looking. And here's what we have going on. And this is my wire from back here. See that? So now I'm taking this wire and pretending that it's just the one coming down this way because I didn't want to start a new wire. <laughs> And I am wrapping it around this base wire here. You are going to have to wrap it quite a bit. I will probably do this off camera. So what you want to do is a bunch of single little wraps, just like we have here, just going all the way down to here. And then once you get to this loop, we're going to attach that. So I will... Um, be back in one minute. All right, so I'm about there, and something that I just like a little side note, real quick. So I cut this wire here, this little you know end that was sticking out, and I'm going to pinch it down with my pliers. And what you want to do, since this is going to be sitting up against your ear, is make sure like the little end is going to be away from your ear. So the way that I cut mine when I pinch it down with my pliers it's coming towards you know away from my ear and the actual little end I don't know if you can see it so I mean theoretically it's more visible usually you kinda of hide things in the back so you can't see the little ends but mine is kind of on the side towards the front because I just don't want it scratching basically is the point to that so just wanted to tell you guys that little bit of information and now these are a pain to get tight because this is a thicker wire 28 gauge wire is so much easier to work with but for something like this um, I decided to go with the 26 just because it's thicker and it would hold better but you could do 28 I bet you that would hold well too I mean if you're not planning on being super active in your elf ears so, see my little stitches are getting overlapped here. I'm just going to take my nail. Oh, it's not pushing out of the way. All right, so here's what's happening. This little loop is kind of blocking me from pulling my wire through. So I'm going to lift it up just temporarily for one second so I can get this wire through here. So I'm going to do a few more wraps here. Alternatively, you can just push the wire through the little hole but it's just so much easier to just kind of bring it around like this so just do several wraps however many you want this should be good enough and now I'm going to take these things and push this back how it was so like so, and now I'm gonna keep weaving. Um, actually, before I do that, let me make these next little pieces here. So, my ear's getting a little too open. We made this little curl. Uh, now I'm gonna make this thing and this thing. So I'm gonna cut two more pieces of my wire. All right, so for the top piece, the top piece is bent just like the ear, like the point of the ear. And then it has little curls on each side and then there's a pearl too which we will attach. So I'm grabbing the point and you can either you know turn your hand or you can turn the wire around. Um, I am turning my wire because it's hard for me to move my hands here. So I'm just looking here to see how these curls are positioned. So if you're looking at it this way, you want the loop to kind of be down and I mean this doesn't matter as long as they match you know both of your ears so it's pointing down and now I'm going to do this side as well and hopefully this will be similar enough in size where I don't have to get a new wire and do it again so this looks to me like it's pretty close in size so I'm gonna go with that the next piece that I'm gonna try to make is this one here so the way that starts out 
is you're pushing your wire this way, like in half, essentially. You're trying to fold it in half. Then these overlap each other. You pull, and it makes this little shape, this little teardrop type shape. So I'm going to make sure mine is the same size, roughly. And then these wires, these ends, they curl upwards. So we've got one end and the other end. They curl upwards like this. And on the ends of them are more little loops. So I'm just going to do that real quick. This might be too short. I might have to cut a slightly longer piece of wire. Do it again. Let's see here. So here's my wire. Oh, no. That actually... Alright, so that's actually pretty decent. This curl here. It just needs to go just a little more this way. It's pretty close. I think that if my wire was just ever so slightly longer here, then I can get it more exact, but this is close enough. Alright, so this is the next one that I'm going to attach, and this is how I'm going to attach it. So I'm going to take my wire, it's in the back right now, um, I'm going to bring it this way and through, and I'm trying to hold this in place <laughs> while I do it, and see where it's coming? Down, and kind of like inside of this little loop here. So I am attaching it this way first before I attach it to the base wire that we're working with. So I'm just going to do like two. two of these. That should be enough to hold it. You can use your pliers now to make sure those are nice and tight and they look pretty. So now I am bringing my wire down and I'm continuing to wrap this way through the ear and around and around this wire. So I'm just wrapping around a few times until I get to right here so I can attach this loop. Alright, so now I'm ready to attach this little loop. You can just push your wire through it. Oops, of course it pops back out. <laughs> Push it through and just do a couple of little loops to attach it. I'm just going to use my pliers to get that nice and flat. All right, and now you can weave this wire around just the base wire here, just a single wire, or this wire here. So the next thing that we're gonna need to attach is gonna be this thing. So I am going to weave, hopefully you can see that, I'm going to keep going around this wire until I get to here, and then I'm going to wrap around both of these wires. I'll show you when I get there. Alright, so once you start getting to that spot where this would go, then you would just want to wrap around both of them. And hopefully I don't run out of this wire. <laughs> might not be long enough so if you do it's not a big deal maybe I'll even show you what happens because I'll run out of mine but you would just you know cut it 
use your pliers to pinch the little end down so it's not pokey and then just start a new wire and you can get it to be pretty seamless so I'm gonna do this a few times and then I'm gonna put on my pearl so to put on your pearl all you do is you slide it on your wire push it with your finger so it sits right here at the corner so I could have done maybe like one or two little stitches here because otherwise see there's gonna be a little gap here but that's okay I don't mind and now you take this wire and you wrap it around so I'm wrapping around both hopefully you can see both of those base wires that I'm wrapping around like this that's how you attach your pearl you can kind of move adjust a little bit you can use your uh, pliers too like if these wires are kind of moving out of position you can pinch them together so now I'm gonna just keep going around this just a few more times so I don't have enough wire to come down here and attach this piece here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end this I'd like to wrap around just one single wire at the very end so I'm just gonna wrap around this one and then you can cut it or just you know pinch it down if it's just a tiny little end left you can just um, pinch it down with your pliers make sure it is not sharp like this so now I'm going to get new wire so that I can attach this little end don't need very much because we're just attaching this and that's it so the first thing I'm going to do is get a few single wraps here around this wire just so we're nice and attached okay let me tighten that up so that should be good now I'm going to move this back here into position and this is where we want to attach this decorative loop so I am just putting it through this way just going to do this a few times and now I'm going to go this way around just this one wire just a couple more times I'm going to tighten that up. So now you can cut off your little ends. Ah, mine's stuck. There we go. And you can pinch it with your pliers. And you are done. That is it. And see how this wire is kind of popping out sideways? Press it down. So now it looks flatter from the side. So here's where you can kind of adjust everything. You can use your pliers and just really move things around, make sure that they're kind of centered how you want them and all that stuff. But that is pretty much it. 
So that is it. Now I have a pair and um, I was looking at this one that I made first and um, I realized I actually have quite a few little breaks in the wire here. So I did a little piece and then I think I ended my wire over here and then I started a new little piece of wire, another new little piece of wire. So you can definitely do it that way, whatever's easiest for you. Uh, but I think the easiest thing would be to have a really long piece of wire and just go the entire way with just one piece without having to cut it and start new. So let me show you what it looks like on real quick. And once you get it on your ear for the very first time, you want to kind of play around and adjust with the shape of it. You want to adjust the spacing here because you want this to be, you know, kind of in front of your ear. This goes directly in back. Um, and you want to adjust this so that it goes around your earlobe. You know, you can curl this up more if it's um, not short enough. You can kind of move this. So you do have to play around with it the first time that you wear them. And this piece here, sometimes it helps to kind of bend this forward too. So once you get it shaped though to your ear and it fits nicely, then I feel like these really stay on well. Um, but that's it. That's how you make little elf ears for Halloween or whatever you want. And hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.